what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i want to show you how to create kml files uh, using google earth pro uh, so uh, the first thing that you need to do we are going to open up a google earth pro application and then uh, on the left on the left hand side i'm going to in this search bar i'm going to type in the area of interest uh, so you need to type in where you want to your area of interest where you'll be working from so then you click the search button so this is my area of interest but uh, before I proceed uh, down here you can see that uh, the coordinate system is in longitude and latitude I need to change that so go to tools and then options then uh, under the 3d view tab click on uh, choose we have this show long latitude uh, selection then you can choose uh, the coding system that uh, we are going to work on so i'm going to choose the universal trans transverse marketer utm and then click apply and ok now uh, in, in gs uh, or rather we have two types of geographic uh, data type we have uh, vector and uh, raster so today we'll be working with the uh, vector and other vector we have uh, a point data we have line and uh, polygon so I'm going to show you how to handle all those three uh, in Google Earth so I'm going to digitize first of all we're going to start with uh, with the point so if i click on this uh this th this a point feature if i place my cursor there i can see the name so for you to digitize a point feature in arcgis or not in arcgis in uh, google earth pro sorry uh, you need to go on this menu you need to select we have this add place mark uh, so you click on this pu uh, push pin and then uh, the moment you click on it is going to open up this uh, particular window and uh, what we need to uh, do so that uh, you place it on this just uh, place a cursor on this and then you can just move it around and place it wherever you want so do not be tempted to close this because that's the end of your digitization now you need to click it again so i'm going to place it right here and then uh, one thing that we can do with this uh, point feature i can click on it to change uh, the icon i can go with these uh, balloon icons like this one i can choose uh, this one here uh, so the different uh, icons that you can choose from uh, so for this case I'm going to select this one here and then uh, then we click OK Let, uh, so then uh, click on for description you can just describe something like uh, cam although I'm not sure if it's a cam then go to style color and then uh, the label we have not given it a name so under name you can give it a name like uh, let's say Karuna uh, like that and then uh, so under label you can change the color of the label from white to whatever color that you want uh, let's say you want to uh, change that color to uh, purple click OK and then uh, the icon you can also change the color of the icon to I don't know this this pink uh, to something like that and then you can as well reduce or increase uh, the uh, the size of the icon like that 
function so now we have a point feature the next one is a line feature and uh, in order to uh, create uh, a line feature in KML line feature uh, you click on uh, add part that one there and then uh, you just type start uh, digitizing like that so you digitize like that uh, I presume that this uh, this a path that uh, crosses inside uh, this particular Karura forest so you digitize that like that and then you finish and then give it a name let's say uh, this uh, footpath uh, footpath and then you can also change uh, the color of the footpath to something like brown click ok and then you can also increase uh, the width like 5 and to go with 5 and again you can uh, edit so you can edit these vertices you can move around you can remove a vertex uh, a vertex like just select select it and then on the keyboard hit uh, delete you can also add a, 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 vert a vertex then like you click on that and then move it around like so so and then you can also uh, check the measurement of this entire uh, 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 path so you click on measurement and you can see the length is uh, 1.54 miles you can also change to kilometers you can see it's two kilometers or meters i'll stick with the kilometers and click ok so we have a line feature uh, that's a footpath and the last one is a polygon so <coughs> on the menu uh, go back to add polygon click on it so this uh, polygon we're going to give it a name say uh, forest like that and then uh, style let's first of all edit before you can even start digitizing so the area first of all let's change this from field to outline and then uh, the color I'll give it uh, give it uh, yellow like so and then uh, line change the line to yellow as well and then you can increase that to something like three like so uh, sorry about that uh, let's just uh, let me delete and do it again so we add a polygon give it a name and then we edit the styles like that uh, so we start digitizing the polygon So I'm just going to quickly digitize that. I'm going to follow uh, this green line work. It, def it actually defines the boundary of this forest. Uh, it's just that uh, in some places we can see that uh, there's uh, serious encroachment. So you digitize like that as quickly as that so as I mentioned earlier you can uh, edit this you can 
move around the vertices like so then uh, click ok before you even click ok you can go to uh, measurement and see the perimeter is 7.73 kilometers the area is uh, one square mile you can change that to square kilometer so you click ok now you have your three features let's say that i want to uh, export or we want to save this uh, you want to save your this ones into uh, your desktop first of all let's let's uh, create a folder like that and then go back to your google earth pro and then right click on uh, what each one of them you can as well uh, email direct so you click on this and then do your settings and uh, uh, send by email so if i right click on uh, this particular point feature i can uh, then click on save place as then uh, our folder is in desktop and then here you change the file format to kml and click save same to repeat the same process for uh, your line feature which is footpath uh, save places and then a kml as well save and lastly uh, your polygon feature uh, click on save places and then make sure that uh, the file type is kml and then click save so now if i close down this and uh, go back to if i double click on one of them and open you can see now uh, google Earth is now trying to open up uh, all the features that uh, we just digitized and uh, so that's how you can actually uh, create uh, kml uh, features from uh, google Earth pro application and then if you have any question uh, just let me know in the comment section below see you in the next tutorial